Hi guys! I recently bought a new iPad and today I'm going to be talking about why I chose the latest iPad Pro, this one, and not the pretty great iPad Air. Most of you think they are the same, but they are not, so I wanted to share my opinion from my perspective as a digital artist and illustrator that uses the iPad daily to work. I will share my thoughts with you on which one you should choose depending on how you want to use it uh, and this is also the question that I get a lot from you guys. Before we start with this, remember I released many new Procreate brushes, bundles and color palettes that I use for my artwork. They're available in my shop in case you're interested, I'll leave all the links below. By now all of you know that I use iPad and Procreate for my personal and professional work. I got my first iPad Pro over two years ago and so far I got almost every iPad Pro since it launched. So, my first iPad was the second generation iPad Pro 12.9 inches with only 32 gigabytes and I used Procreate from day one. The tiger and crocodile illustration you saw in my color accuracy video was my first big size full color illustration in Procreate on iPad. And it's also my profile picture. I did the sketch first on paper and then imported to Procreate and finished the illustration there. I did a video about this and I will leave the link somewhere up above. I had that iPad till June 2019 when I got the iPad Pro 3rd generation. I made a change because I needed more internal space and a better screen. And I chose the one with 64 GB because I thought that now that we are able to connect external hard drives, I wouldn't need more. And I was wrong. And it's this one that I have right here. It has Paperlike installed on it. And if you want to hear more about Paperlike, check out my previous video. This iPad Pro was my main driver for over a year. I was perfectly able to do professional work. In fact, I made work for two full books, big size posters, packaging projects, book covers, and all of it with this iPad. Never had an issue as it works perfectly fine. But again, working with such big projects takes so much space and I have to have those files at hand in Procreate. 64 GB wasn't enough and I had to make space and save externally every time the iPad was full on my Samsung external drive. And it was kind of affecting my workflow. So the new iPad Pro was out there and also Apple just launched the new iPad Air. I did a bit of research and it was clear that because of the work I do, I needed to go with the iPad Pro, the one I have right here. I bought this one instead of the new iPad Air for two main reasons. When using Procreate, more internal memory means more layers and when working with big files, it makes a huge difference. I'm used to work with six layers, my old iPad Pro had four gigabytes of memory and for example in a 50 by 70 canvas, six layers was the max. Now when I create a file with similar characteristics on my new iPad, you will see that I get more layers to work on, so well, let me show you. 9 instead of 6 layers, so having 3 layers more makes a big difference for me. Now the new iPad Air looks great, but it has only 3 GB of internal memory, so that will translate into less layers. I'm sure that performance will be great, but for me, as a digital artist, it's not about that. I always go for more memory instead of the latest chip. The second and also super important thing for me is that iPad Pro screen or display has better refresh rate. If you never used an iPad Pro, you might not even notice that, but if you used it or you use it daily for your work, the difference is right here. Also, the iPad Air has at most 256 gigabytes of internal storage, so there's that limitation as well. So what does it all mean? In my opinion, if you are like me and illustration is your profession, you definitely need more space, more flexibility, more appropriate layers, uh, then the iPad Pro is for you. It's totally worth the investment as it's an amazing professional tool. If you are an illustrator, but your work does not require big formats or you are starting with illustration, then the iPad Air is perfect. It's like an entry-level iPad Pro, but more affordable. You can also go with a used iPad Pro for a generation as well. Now, if you illustrate as a hobby or you do not want to commit to a big investment, then you can get the iPad mini. 
It supports Procreate and the Apple Pen first generation. So guys, I hope it helps you if you're struggling with the decision which iPad to buy and to choose. I will soon start testing pen displays like Wacom or X-Pen as I want to share with you guys my experience and alternatives outside the iPad for digital illustration. Let me know in the comments your thoughts and uh, if the video was helpful and if you use any kind of pen display, uh, let me know also in the comments and I will check it out. Thank you so much for watching and I see you next week. Bye!